I am Mona Cameron, I'm one of the OBS and gynae consultants here at Stepping Hill Hospital. As an obstetrician and gynecologist, I would want the best for my patients and I would encourage you to seriously consider giving up smoking as that has enormous health benefits for you. Smokers are known to have a higher risk of all complications, higher risk of lung and heart complications, they have a much higher risk of having blood clots in their legs and lungs following surgery. They're also poor wound healing and increased risk of post-operative wound infection and breakdown and also increase hospital stay. Four weeks is ideal to give up. To have the maximum benefits, it would be better if you give up for at least six months before surgery. It's also important if you have other household in your family who smoke because you would be passively inhaling and it increases your risks equally. And it's a lot easier if everybody gives up at the same time. It's also important to know that pregnant patients, as pregnant patients, we routinely give them advice throughout all stages of pregnancy to give up smoking. There is approximately one in four chance of ending up with a cesarean delivery and to improve your recovery time after surgery it's important to give up that smoking if you can give up give up six months before uh, or to get the benefits at least four weeks I have had a very young patient who had major gynae surgery but unfortunately ended up with a massive pulmonary embolism two weeks post-operatively and she was a very heavy smoker so although we did all we could do for her during, during her surgery to reduce the risks, this was something that was within her control. So I do take this very seriously and I would urge you to please, please give up smoking before you have any surgery. If you need help in quitting, contact the Healthy Stockport service on 0161 426 5085 or via healthystockport.co.uk.